Now, hey, ten level fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Water Wheel Power Mod, which is being made by user CBC Nex. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two wonderful new Water Wheel Generators for you to build in your settlements and enjoy their glorious power production from. And I have really been enjoying these things, as I gotta admit, as far as the normal vanilla generators go in this game, I don't like most of them. Three of them are just different sized magical generators with never-ending supplies of some sort of combustible fuel. I never liked that. That's why I usually only ever use the windmills as they make sense, not only not being magic, and also because it feels more post-apocalyptic-y to me. So having an alternative to that with water power is pretty darn cool. Though, I mean, assuming you're actually building one of these near a settlement with real water and not just a hole in the ground like I did here, but hey, we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. So let's talk about what exactly we do get with this. And of course, to build these wonderful new water wheels, we'll have to go in uh, to the workshop mode, on over to power, and then in generator, where you will find these two lovely new CBC water power wheels. The first of which being somewhat of a rustic one, which has what looks like a doghouse with a small power pole coming out of it. But hey, still nice and very post-apocalyptic for this world, made of scrap. And the other one is a bit more uh, technological, shall we say, with what looks to be some sort of transformer rather than the weird doghouse thing. And well, either way you go though, you're gonna have a water wheel. And as you can see here, it, it takes a little bit to build. You're gonna need rank one in science, as well as six gears, five screw, four rubber, 10 copper, 12 aluminum, and Three nuclear power for some reason. I don't know why a water wheel needs nuclear material, but you know, there you go. You got it. And it doesn't produce a lot of power only at four, putting it, you know, a little bit better than the windmill generator, but certainly a lot less than the sort of medium or large magical generators you have here. But, you know, I think it's pretty nice. And if you have a settlement like Sanctuary, where it does kind of have a river flowing through it, it looks darn good having these things along the water. Now, <laughs> there is a thing about that. They, they don't actually need water, and I don't know if there's some way the mod maker could make that a requirement. But, um, yeah, I can literally just build it right there on the solid ground. And, uh... Yeah, it still produces power and spins, but, you know, still, so long as you use it in an RP nature and actually build it in water, even if it is just a weird puddle in the ground, you know, it makes for a cool aesthetic power system that, again, feels like something they would build in the post-apocalypse, you know? It's just kind of ramshackle thrown together with wood and gears, and either the you know, large transformer looking thing, or the strange little doghouse with a power pole. Good times either way. Also a barrel for some reason. Now as you can see on the bottom, it does also have a particle effect that's attached to this whole thing to actually make it look like it is agitating the water below, which is kind of cool. It does make it a bit weird if you can't get the water wheel all the way down on the water, as I can't hear. Uh, so it kind of floats just above it. But again, at a settlement like Sanctuary, where you can really get these down into the water, it looks gorgeous, it works nice as an actual power source, and well, there's just a handy little generator you can hook to all your things to power your settlements with water. Or not, depending on where you place it. I do like that, actually. It, it amuses me. Well, yeah, it's a pretty simple little mod, but I quite enjoy it. And like I said, it's nice to have some other alternate forms of power in this game that, to me, make a lot more sense than the magical, never-ending fuel generators. Those always kind of weirded me out. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description. So, you know, pretty short one today, not a whole lot to go over, but I hope you have enjoyed this episode. You do come back for the next, but until that time, my friends, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.